Imagine a plane from the 1960s operating at high speeds and altitudes of Mach 3.2 and 85,000 feet. The plane was so fast that making a 180-degree turn would cover about 145 miles, 233 kilometers, and take roughly four minutes. In the vast, endless sky, there is one machine that soared above all others. It wasn't just an aircraft, it was a symbol of human ingenuity, bold ambition, and a time when the impossible was made possible. This is the story of the SR-71. Blackbird, the plane that defied all limits, made history with every flight, and remains a ghost in the skies, unmatched and untouchable. Imagine this. The year is 1966. Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union are at their peak. The world is on the brink of a technological arms race, and from the darkened corners of Lockheed's Skunk Works division, a machine is born. It was designed to do what no other plane could, to fly faster than a speeding bullet, higher than any aircraft before it, and to disappear into the night like a shadow. Lockheed's previous reconnaissance aircraft was the relatively slow U-2, designed for the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. In late 1957, the CIA approached the defense contractor Lockheed to build an undetectable spy plane. The project, named Archangel, was led by Kelly Johnson, head of Lockheed's Skunk Works unit in Burbank, California. Work on Project Archangel began in the second quarter of 1958, aiming to fly higher and faster than the U-2. Of 11 successive designs drafted in 10 months, a 10 was the frontrunner, although its shape made it vulnerable to radar detection. After a meeting with the CIA in March 1959, the design was modified to reduce its radar cross-section by 90%. On February 11, 1960, the CIA approved a $96 million, equivalent to $800 million in 2025, contract for Skunk Works to build a dozen A-12 spy planes. Three months later, the May 1960, Downing of Francis Gary Powers' U-2 underscored the need for less vulnerable reconnaissance aircraft. The 12 first flew at Groom Lake, Area 51, Nevada, on April 25, 1962. With a body carved from the future, the SR-71 is nothing short of a masterpiece. Its design, sleek, angular, and jet black, was meant to serve more than just aesthetics. This was a plane built for one purpose only to be the fastest and most elusive machine in the sky. Powering this beast are the Pratt & Whitney, J-58 engines, capable of propelling the SR-71 to speeds exceeding Mach 3, or over 2,000 miles per hour. Imagine that. The aircraft can fly from New York to Los Angeles in just over one hour. Faster than the speed of sound. Faster than most rockets. Faster than any plane before it or since. But speed wasn't its only weapon. To protect itself, it carried the most advanced stealth technology of its time. The Blackbird wasn't just a high-speed machine, it was invisible to radar, a ghost in the sky. It was designed to fly at altitudes above 85,000 feet, where enemy radar couldn't even begin to track it. It was, in essence, a weapon that couldn't be touched. The SR-71. Blackbird was built using titanium, a material chosen for its strength, lightweight, and resistance to extreme heat. As the Blackbird soared at speeds over Mach 3, more than 2,000 miles per hour, the friction generated with the air created intense heat, causing temperatures around the aircraft to rise to over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Titanium's remarkable ability to withstand these extreme conditions, with a melting point of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, made it the ideal material for the plane's airframe. Not only did titanium offer superior heat resistance, but it also helped the SR-71 remain stealthy by reflecting radar, ensuring that the Blackbird could operate at high speeds and altitudes without detection. An unusual design feature of the SR-71 was its dripping fuel system. As the aircraft accelerated to Mach 3, the extreme heat caused the titanium body to expand, creating small gaps and leaks in its fuel tanks. This caused the Blackbird to leak fuel while on the runway and during the early stages of flight.
However, this wasn't a flaw. It was part of the plane's design. As the aircraft reached its cruising speed, the heat caused the body to expand and the fuel system to seal, ensuring that the Blackbird could operate at full capacity without fuel loss. This innovative system allowed the SR-71 to perform its high-speed reconnaissance missions without compromising its performance or safety. But there was a catch. Its power came at a price. The SR-71 wasn't cheap. Every flight, every mission, cost millions of dollars. On average, it cost around $200,000 per flight hour to operate the SR-71. This includes fuel, maintenance, and support services, with the most significant expense being the fuel itself. The technology required to keep it operational was so advanced that maintaining it became a massive financial burden. The plane's speed and altitude, its biggest advantages, also made it harder to control. It demanded constant meticulous care. But despite its stunning capabilities, the world was changing. Satellite technology was advancing, and the need for manned reconnaissance was starting to fade. By the 1990s, the SR-71 was increasingly becoming obsolete. And so, in 1998, the SR-71 was retired from active service. It had become too costly to maintain, and the Blackbird's final flight was a quiet end to a loud, roaring legacy. The SR-71 wasn't just an aircraft, it was a flying testament to our willingness to push the boundaries of what's possible. For years, it held the record for the fastest manned air-breathing aircraft in history, a record that, even today, remains unbroken. If you enjoyed this story, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more incredible stories of aviation, technology, and the brave souls who change the world.